severely restricted. The Burmese military regime imposed two regulations. One is called Myanmar Computer Science Development Law, which made the position of an unregistered computer modern in connection to an authorized computer network punishable up to 15 years in prison. It imposed another law called Electronic Transaction Law, and internet users can face prison terms of 7 to 15 years for receiving, sending, and distributing information related to politics and, politics and human rights. They also control the contents. They block the political websites and media in exile. But for the first time, just last week, they unblock some exile media, like the BBC and VOA. We have to wait and see how long they will keep these websites unblocked. And they also conduct DDoS attack to the exile website, and then they used to shut down, you know, the whole infrastructure of uh, internet, you know, at the time of the crisis. When there was the uh, Suffering Re Revolution, led by the Burmese Buddhist monks in 2007, they completely shut down the internet for several weeks. And they also sporad sporadically blocked Gmail and Yahoo, you know, when they, whenever there is a crisis. They also use the coercive measures. Most of the monks, students, bloggers, and online journalists arrested after the Suffering Revolution in 2007 were charged with the internet-related laws and subjected to long prison sentences. And 2010 reports of the Reporters Without Border confirmed the detention of 15 journalists and two internet activists and detention. One of them is a, one of the members of the NLD, called Hala Wen. She is serving 27 years prison time just for taking video footage and then sending to the exile media or Democratic Voice of Burma. Just last week on 14 September, DBU, uh, Democratic Voice of Burma video journalist Situ Zia, who is already serving eight year sentence and in inside prison under Unlawful Association Act, received additional 10 year extension to his sentence based on the Electronic Transition Act. So the situation is still very critical. It is not enough for the international community to keep waiting in the same position. You know, whenever we try to request to keep up pressure, we have been asked, oh, please wait for a moment, regime is going to organize the election. We have been asked, when we ask to organize commission of inquiry to investigate the regime's violations of war crimes and crime against humanity, again, the international community is saying, wait for a moment, regime had to talk with your own substitutes. And then they are talking about reforms at the parliament. We hope that the current section of the UN General Assembly passed a resolution at the third committee, a resolution which, is, which reflects the reality on the ground, not the promises of the regime. We hope that the current section of the General Assembly requests the Secretary General to establish commission of inquiry to invest, investigate war crimes and crime against humanity and the cultural impunity. But on the other hand, we still look forward to the UN Secretary General Good Offices to continue to put our thoughts for the national reconciliation in Burma because the best option for our country is dialogue and negotiated political settlement. We would like to ask the UN to appoint full-time special envoy for Burma. In our case, international opinion is still divided. United States, European Union, and other Western countries are condemning the regime, imposing some section measures, and neighboring countries are doing business with the Burmese military. Burmese military is getting comfort zone in our region. And China is the one who is probing the Burmese military and then protecting them 
at the Security Council and other human bodies. So the UN has a lot to be done to coordinate all these diverse views and to develop a coordinated international efforts to help the people of Burma. All the challenges still waiting ahead, but we will never give up. I hope I will continue to continue the struggle with the dream of peaceful, democratic Burma. And I will continue to work with all the solidarity groups and friends around the world to get back democracy and human rights in our country. Thank you very much.